the whistle. Good morning guys. So I'm gonna go for a little drive in the truck. I usually don't do well I drive the truck obviously. I just usually don't record with this camera and drive. I usually do it with my phone. So we'll see uh, how this all works. See if it works, what it does. Um, so, you can see, well, it says 45 degrees. It's probably a lot cooler than that. So, it was warming up. Pyrometer, EGTs are. 227, 41 degrees, 41 degrees. That's about, that's about right. Outside temperature, 41 degrees. So, I was gonna let it warm up for a little bit, like, I don't know, get it to the coolant to at least 75. I'm gonna go drive it around. I'm gonna check the uh, after I get it back and get it warmed up. I'm gonna check the uh, tranny fluid and uh, see see how much I lost. I'll add some. I have some in the back door compartment. Um, but yeah, so let me let it warm up a little bit. Get it to about 70. 75 something like that degrees cold warm um, and then I'll start driving it so I'm just gonna do a normal normal drive I don't know if you guys can hear that turbo you're probably not gonna be able to see not even gonna be able to see the read out. I'll just read it out to you guys. it's going to be any better I'll we'll have to uh, watch it as I go up this hill because it looks higher than normal but we'll see so normal normal way I drive at half throttle No, it's that's way cooler. I'd be pushing 800, 9, I'd be pushing about 900 right now. Going up this hill at this speed at the RPMs. Oh yeah, way cooler. I'd be well in well into 900 right here just about climbing about a thousand a thousand degrees EGTs and we're at 835 oh yeah yeah I like that way better way better so 900 because I'm bogging it 9.30 so I'm chugging along so as you can see my intercooler was 
was the big problem. So it it peaked a thousand, but I'd be I was bogging it pretty bad. So usually at the top of that hill, bogging it, I'd be about eleven hundred. It's a pretty big hill. Um, I don't want to say it's. I don't know. I guess it could be like a seven percent grade, maybe a ten percent grade. I don't really know. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go drive it for a little bit longer to get it all warmed up, bring it up to operating temperature. I'm just gonna go do my normal drive, my normal Sunday drive. got high quick because it was forcing in hot air or f hot greasy nasty air so uh, yeah it should be good um, I didn't even see what the boost was but as you can see well, I don't know if you can see let me get into a street part this is where a guy flipped his truck he spun out and went boop right in the mountain <laughs> anyway uh, yeah, barely on the throttle. Right about here, I'd be pushing about 9, 12 pounds of boost. As you can see on the bottom, it says 8. Um, just cruising, doing 60. So, usually I never see that at zero, and unless I'm completely off the gas, off the throttle. But, you know, it's, it's going at zero right now. So, anyway, uh, yeah. MPG already started climbing, even though I was on the gas or on the throttle. But all right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. This is gonna be my last video until I get back from work. Um, I gotta do a lot of stuff today. Gotta wash car. Gotta fold up laundry. Pack my car. Um, it's Thursday. Tomorrow, I'll just hang out with the wife. We'll go out to dinner tomorrow, and then uh, Saturday morning I gotta leave. Go back to Ogden, Utah. So. Anyway, uh, yeah, got a couple more parts coming for the truck. Well, like one more part actually. The other ones are just little plastic parts, but I'm gonna try to get rid of this traction control light. Traction control light with a brake switch. So we'll see if that brake switch fixes it. If not, whatever. If it does, awesome because I don't have cruise control. All these work, they all show functioning and cycling on the computer when you push them all but I have no cruise control, so whatever. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do what you guys do. Later.